Introducing the next wine is a real true pleasure. Uh, when we talk about Bedrock wines here at Wine Access, we really try and get our hands on as much of them as we possibly can. Um, and to have this wine kind of be part of the Joël Robuchon Miami, Le Atelier Joël Robuchon Miami uh, wine club, it's, it's a real treat. Um, these, this is really kind of a part of California winemaking history, making it part of American winemaking history. 134-ish yeah. year old vines on, on this particular. vines. I mean, these things are anywhere from like three or four feet tall up to like five, six feet tall. They've just, they've seen a whole lot. Uh, in their lifetime, and they produce very small amounts of wines. Um, this actually comes from a pedigree and a lineage of, of, of gentlemen who make Zinfandel and Zinfandel kind of breathe old vine Zinfandel and old vine heritage vines go through this family. So Morgan Twain Peterson makes this wine. His father was Joel Peterson uh, of, legends of, of Ravenswood. Yeah. Uh, these wines really, they really are kind of speaking of what California wine making was. Kind of a field blend, if you will, dominated by Zinfandel. You have some Carignan, you have some uh, Morvedra. Vedra, which is called Mataro. There's about 17 other varietals. I don't really know all the other varietals. I'm guessing there's probably some Alicante Boucher. There might be some Petit Sirah. There yeah. might be some other things in there. But mm -hmm. um, uh, a little bit beyond the scope of, of what I've memorized for this particular video. But I just know what's in this bottle is going to be very special. It really talks to what California sun, California winemaking history, what this happens is, here. Certainly you get into the, the insights of, of the, the California itself. This wow. is California in a glass. Uh, a beautiful wine, I mean, impactful. Uh, all this, obviously all these different varieties give us that, that really deep impact. But with that age of vine, which is a, a luxury, dare to say, to try a wine like this. Oh gosh, the concentration, the power and the impact is there, but there's still this polish, there's this there's this finesse to the edges. On the finishes where you start beginning to pick up these spices, this kind of rose petal. But there's this detail of of, of raspberry, kind of almost like this yes. kirsch liqueur, these kind of dark smashed cherries. Everything feels kind of macerated. It's all very polished. It's warm. By no means is this wine abashed, abashedly like lean. It, this wine has got mm -hmm. power, mm -hmm. richness, density. Those but also showing the restraint. This is not like in your face, yeah. big, sweet, high alcohol wine. This shows a lot of complexity. It's a, it's a wine you want to sit down the and details. have a conversation with. Uh, the team at the uh, L'Atelier de Robert Chau Robert Chau in Miami, together with uh, Enrique, they found this uh, a pairing for it, which I think sounds amazing. It's called the Purcellet, which is a suckling uh, pig uh, pork loin, in which they do with a blanquette sauce. And I think it really just hugs and all the intention of this wine into it. Blanquette sauce, I love that stuff. That's classic, classic French, French, French stuff right here. Mm. That would be perfect. As that would be more of like a base neutral kind of like sauce with suckling pig. This wine oh. comes in with all the richness and all the spice. And I can see how it kind of like softens this out and rounds it out. It's just, it's such a concentrated, Cute. powerful wine. I bet you this wine could sit down for 15, 20 Oh yeah, years. talk about uh, ageability. It's so delicious right now. Uh, mm -hmm. With all of its dried fruits, all of its kind of wild kind of spices and wildflowers, and just the concentration is immense, but the detail and the sophistication is there as well. Um, I'll tell you what, this, this wine, this bottle's not going to last. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Cheers. Not, <laughs> not Thanks for lunch. sharing not the knowledge. Lunch, right? <laughs> no, past lunch.